Hi, I'm Jerome Pfeiffer from AskTheSteelGuy at gmail.com. I wanted to talk to you today about using a, a new tool that's on the market. Uh, Alan Little from AskWoodman.com and su NewSuperCoolTools.com uh, has come up with a, uh, a variation on the Beastmeyer fence. Uh, the Beastmeyer is an all welded one piece unit that if you want to do any type of jigs or modifications, you've got to clamp it to the fence. Uh, what Alan has come up with is a welded steel T-square fence and an aluminum extrusion. Now the extrusion, you can use one of several different ones they have available. Uh, I've got their standard one, which I find very useful. It's a very simple system, uh, and if you have a Beastmeyer saw, you can put this right on it, it no problem, it, uh, direct replacement. However, if you have an old Delta or Craftsman or something like that, you're going to need a new rail system. Uh, it's fairly simple to build. If you just have a hand grinder and a drill, you can do it. What we're going to be using is two by three 11 gauge rectangular tubing and three by three by quarter angle iron and two by two by eighth angle iron on the back side. Uh, one of the things that we're going to have to do with this is uh, we have to make cutouts here for uh, the cross cut in this area. We'll have to bore some holes to mount it to the saw. Uh, and in my case, I have to make some new running gear for mine also. This is a six foot uh, saw that we use and it will rip three foot. The one I'm going to be building for you on this build has a seven foot rail and we can rip four foot easily. Uh, I've only had this now for just a short period of time we got this saw set up. I love it. Uh, as you'll see in the videos, I have a full detailed steel shop here with milling machines, lathes, welders, you name it, we have it all. The T-square fence by itself is $199. $249 with the fence. I couldn't build it for that. I wouldn't build it for that. Uh, there's quite a bit that goes on underneath it with these plastic pads that it rides on that you've got to build and uh, another tab here that has uh, 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 nylon on it to ride on. They've done all of that already, figured it all out. It, uh, it wouldn't be worth my time to redo it, not at the price they're charging. Uh, Alan Little at uh, uh, askwoodman.com has quite a bit of uh, information on his site about it. In fact, he can show you how to build one of these if you'd like. Uh, or you can call him at verysupercooltools.com at 512-537-5255 and they can explain more of it to you or go to their site and that will tell you everything you need to know. Uh, but at any rate, let's get started on ours now, and uh, uh, I'll show you how to build it. One of the things we're going to be dealing with today is how to uh, put our holes in the angle iron and the tubing to mount this down. The most critical thing we have to remember is this has to be one inch from the outside of the angle to the outside of the tubing. Or as you'll see later in the video, we can use something that we know to be three quarters of an inch inside to inside here. And that's how I'll be laying mine out. Now, you'll notice in uh, this video that I use a milling machine 
to put slots in the angle iron and then thread the tubing. If you don't have a milling machine and don't have that capability, uh, we will be using quarter inch by 20 bolts to mount this with. You can also, uh, you'll pre-drill at one foot intervals with a number seven bit, which is uh, uh, the threading size for quarter 20. After you have all that drilled and tapped, you go back and re-drill the angle iron with a 5 16 bit. That will give you enough opening to allow you to move this uh, tubing back and forth and adjust it. Uh, so you don't have to have uh, all of the equipment we'll be using in this build. It can be built fairly easy by doing that. Uh, and then just use a flat washer and lock washer to lock it down when you're done. Now one of the things we have to do is measure in and run our line all the way down and then center punch our holes on measure. This is the tubing and angle that we'll be using to make our rail. This is 2 by 3 11 gauge tubing, 3 by 3 quarter inch angle iron. In setting this up, I chose 1 and an eighth inch in on the tubing for our bolt holes. To keep this 1 inch from the edge that makes this line two and an eighth inch in. And this is done. Now we'll go to the drill press to locate these holes. Okay, I'll be drilling this in a free state, which means we're not clamping. Go slow, don't apply too much pressure to the drill at any time. Now what I'm drilling with is a number 7 bit, which is the tap size for quarter inch 20 bolts. We're going to use these holes to locate the holes in our tubing once we're done. This makes sure everything stays in alignment. Now what I'm using is a transfer punch that's just a punch the size of the hole we drill uh, to tap our quarter 20. And we just stick it in the hole and give it a tap. And that locates where we're going to drill our hole in the tubing. we know we're right where we're supposed to be to drill our holes. 
Now again, we're using our number seven bit that gives us the right size hole to tap a quarter 20 bolt, which we'll be putting in all along the side here, one foot apart. Let's go ahead and drill. Now, when I drill these holes in a large piece of metal, I don't like to clamp the metal down. It's too hard to find the center punch with the drill bit when you're working with a small bit like this. Uh, I prefer to do it in what's known as a free state where the drill itself locates the center punch mark in the tubing and finds its own center. It's uh, easier on the drill bit, you're much less likely to either drill the hole in the wrong spot or to snap a drill bit off if it binds up. Okay, now I've got to set up the milling machine to elongate these holes a little bit so we have some adjustment on our tubing to make sure we stay exactly at one inch away from the uh, table saw at all times. Uh, I'm going to be lowering the mill into the hole and slotting both directions. Let's get started. 